New stimulus package. What actually passed and what didn't. Hey, I'm Alex. And I'm Philip. And we teach you what you need to know about your personal finances using words you can understand without boring you to death. Because adulting shouldn't suck. If you're new to our channel and you'd like to stay up to date with what's going on with the stimulus packages, hit that subscribe button. In this video, we're gonna talk about the five main things that were passed in this new stimulus 3.5 package by Congress on April 23rd that's adding to the already existing CARES Act. We know it's confusing. The clickbait out there is unreal. There's so many videos saying $1,000 checks, $2,000 a month stimulus, rent cancellations. So we're out here to give you guys this video to show you guys the information that's actually coming out that's actually accurate. So what was actually included? The first main thing was an additional $310 billion were added to the PPP. These are loans to help small businesses. Originally in the CARES Act, they had $349 billion to help out small businesses get back on their feet. And once it was funded, it ran out in a matter of days. So this $310 billion is addition to that to help out more small businesses. People were pissed. Large companies like Shake Shack, Pop Bellies, Ruth Chris Steakhouse, they were all companies that were taking advantage of this program, applying for large sums of money instead of using that money to help small businesses. This new law has helped to make it so, so much money has to be allotted to small banks and small businesses. With that, $60 billion has to be allocated for small banks to help out with this PPP. The problem was that big banks like Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America were prioritizing these big companies applying for millions of dollars. They were getting you know, 10 or $20 million out of this PPP and they weren't even helping small businesses. So now, to hopefully help alleviate some of that, they're guaranteeing that 60 billion of it will be allocated or be, be able to apply for it through smaller banks. Number two, EIDL grants. Originally, the CARES Act had $10 billion in this, but it ran out in what, two weeks? Less than that. Yeah, it's probably less than that. Uh, the 3.5 stimulus package offers an additional $10 billion in there. And essentially what it is, is it's a $1,000 um, stimulus check for any person that owns a small business as a freelancer or you know entrepreneurial got a side hustle yeah you know us in yards this right here is that thousand dollar check that you see all over YouTube and articles online like everybody's gonna get it I mean a lot more people qualify for it under this new stimulus 3.5 package but not everybody gets it because not everybody has a small business so it's pretty deceptive but if you do have a small business or a side hustle or whatever then definitely apply for it best case scenario you get an extra thousand bucks and you don't have to pay it back. So it's a free $1,000 if you spend it the way that they say you have to spend it. So make sure you read up on it and you follow the guidelines. Number three. $50 billion for the disaster loan program. Number four. $75 billion for healthcare providers. Stuff like preventing and responding to the illness. And the fifth and final main point. $25 billion for testing for the illness. Which is stuff like researching and developing and testing. So these are the five main things that were in the bill. Uh, the last three aren't really going to affect you financially, uh, which the first two, if you own a small business or you have a side hustle, you might be able to apply for. But the last three, they're all good things, but they're not going to affect you in any way, shape, or form with being able to pay your own bills. What's not included? So the main thing is the $2,000 for guaranteed up to six months. I know a lot of people were looking forward to that. That wasn't included. It's still a bill in Congress called the Emergency Money for the People Act. The other main thing that wasn't included is the Rent and Mortgage Cancellation Act. That's still a bill also in Congress. Uh, I know a lot of people are hoping that they can get their rent and mortgage frozen for up to a year based on this act. Um, they were not included. This is just specifically to help small business and the healthcare system. So the good news is even though this 3.5 stimulus package was passed on the 23rd, they're already talking about the next round of stimulus bills that are hopefully gonna get passed here. Uh, so there's still hope that these things might go through. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you'd like to stay up to date with the Rent Mortgage Cancellation Act or the Emergency Fund for the People Act, hit that subscribe button, click that bell for the notifications, and we're going to keep you up to date. And if you like this video, make sure you share it with your friends and family.